Just six weeks before the primary election, Kevin Kamenitz's former gubernatorial running mate, Valerie Irvin, announces she is running in his place. WJZ is live. Alex Dimituk explains. Irvin says she plans to finish what they started. Good morning, Alex. Well, good morning, Denise. Valerie Irvin uh, says she stands in solidarity with the Kamenitz family, and after several days of mourning, she's decided to run for governor. This was one of Valerie Irvin's first introductions to voters across the state of Maryland when Kevin Kamenitz announced she would be his running mate. But their campaign turned upside down last week after Kamenitz's shocking death from cardiac arrest. I feel like the baton was handed to me and I'm running the last leg. And so we're going to run hard. Just two days later, and with a major deadline looming, Irvin announced she would finish what they started and run for governor. He had a campaign apparatus that was probably the best one of all of the, of the candidates running. And I know that what I'm trying to build here, he would be very pleased with. A former Montgomery County Council member now enters a crowded field. Seven Democrats are running for the chance to face off with a popular Republican governor, Larry Hogan. Because so many voters are undecided, there is certainly a lot of room for movement. And so it really remains to be seen how strong she is as a top ticket candidate. Irvin has chosen someone from the same county Kamenitz led to be her running mate. Marisol Johnson is a former Baltimore County School Board member. Irvin described her new running mate as a business owner, an immigrant from El Salvador. I think we represent Maryland. We represent Maryland's future. And uh, it's very unusual to have a ticket with two women of color running, but it is garnering so much excitement and enthusiasm. Well, Irvin says she'll campaign for stronger public schools and free pre-K and child care. Denise, back to you. All right, thank you, Alex. There are seven candidates running in this year's Democratic primary, which will be held June 26th.